Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for a very special and exciting Regent Seven Seas Cruises webinar. My name is Anna. I'm an industry relations manager here at CLIA, and I'm going to just quickly go through some housekeeping before introducing our presenter. This webinar will run about 40 minutes with time for questions at the end. Please feel free to type your questions into the questions module of the webinar, and we'll get to them at the conclusion of the presentation. This webinar is being recorded and will be posted on CLIA's YouTube channel, which is CLIA Global. And with that, it is my pleasure to introduce our presenter, Brenna Abels. Brenna comes from the land of the Cornhusker as she started her 11-year career with Regent Seven Seas Cruises in the Omaha, Nebraska call center. She worked her way up through operations, then leading the reservations team as a supervisor, and finally spent the last six years working in the Regent sales team. Brenna has worked closely with each of the sales pillars within the organization and now runs a team of individuals who both support each of those sales pillars and work to improve and enhance all internal platforms to create the best tools for you, their esteemed travel partners. She has sailed on Regent Seven Seas Cruises herself seven times and looks forward to continuing her travels on board the world's most luxurious fleet. And with that, take it away, Brenna. Thank you so much, Anna, and hello, everyone. Good morning and good afternoon um, to all of those esteemed CLIA advisors out there. Thank you for joining me. Um, I'm super excited to showcase a few fun facts on our breaking records, um, highlighted campaign around our unrivaled space to see, which we've actually always had, um, what truly sets us apart, how our return to sale plan is going so far, um, who our clients are, how to find them, new exciting programs and itineraries to entice your clients, hitting that incredible milestone of 30 years next year, and last but not least, an inside look at a heritage of perfection, the seven seas grandeur. Um, so first off, I thought I'd start off with a really exciting slide, and obviously it's a true testament to the incredible work that you do um, and what you've done with the industry in of itself. So luxury is on the up and now you can take full advantage of it and get that comma in those commission checks so as you can see the demand is unprecedented our customers are ready to book multiple cruises and longer cruises um i feel like um they feel you know sort of cheated out of the last two years of travel i mean don't we all um so yeah i mean even last year our voyage collection launch broke records at that point in time by over 40%. And then we had our world cruise that we announced last year for 2023, and that broke the record of the previous world cruise. Um, and then once we launched again for our itineraries this year, it broke last year's record by 15%. And then the world cruise that we announced this year sold out in under three hours. It was absolutely amazing. The demand is there. Um, and it's all really thanks to you. Um, I did want to highlight this campaign that we've been highlighting um, over the over the, this last year called Unrivaled Space at Sea, and it's really just highlighting what we've already had. You know, the incredible space that we have on board for your clients to really relax and just enjoy themselves, especially during this crazy time. And I wanted to highlight. Um, I think that this picture really uh, shows you the true difference between when you want to upgrade your clients um, from premium to luxury, what that does for the space on board. The ships are smaller, but they are grander. And we have a lot less suites, um, but a lot more space. So that private balcony, we have 100% private balcony on four of the five ships in our fleet. Um, I mean, our staff to guest ratio is bar none and our space to guest ratio is absolutely incredible. So just kind of keeping that in mind when you're thinking of the clients that you currently have. Um, and we go to our clients and we ask them, you know, what does unrivaled space at sea mean to you? And this is one of our, one of our esteemed clients came back and said, feeling like I am on my own private yacht. You can't beat sitting on your balcony with a glass of bubbly wrapped in your fluffy bathrobe. Now that is life and I couldn't agree more. So very um it's a very good thing to highlight i think on our end something that we've already had um so especially during this time it's it's a, it's a great highlight for us um but for those of you that may not be um, all too familiar with our brand these are our five pillars and as you take a look at these i want you to think about 
your clients that you currently have and what's important to them when they go on their adventures, when they go on their vacations. Is it exploring the world? Is it going to different locations and different destinations and immersing themselves? Is it just you know being taken care of every step of the way with the incredible service um, either on location or, or on those ships? If are they foodies? You know, do they enjoy like that intricate, exquisite cuisine um, and finding all of those different foods out there? Or is it that space that we just got done talking about? Um, or the fifth one is obviously the, our most popular and what we are most known for, and that's every luxury being included. You know, when you think about your clients and what they enjoy doing and what they spend their money on while they're on board or on their trip, um, it's absolutely incredible how those items will add up. And if you, if they take the time to do that, which is very painful, um, you know, you'll get to know that you can sell on a luxury product and not have to worry about that and possibly be spending less. So in our cruise fare, we include the business class air on intercontinental flights and the economy class for anything domestic. Um, free and limited shore excursions, I'm talking up to 15 different shore excursions in every port of call. Um, you know, it's, it's one thing to have a couple tours to choose from, but having just that vast uh, choice of you know, of, of, and how, how, how do you want to have your vacation as far as your, um, you know, your experience? You know, do you want it more relaxed? Do you want to have more of an adventure? We have a variety of tours. Um, many times we have two or three land program, two or three night land programs included in the cruise fare on a lot of our exotic itineraries. If you're in a concierge and above, you get the one night pre-cruise hotel package. Unlimited beverages, including fine wines and spirits, and I always like to premise that it's not red or white, it is hundreds of different kinds of wine from all over the world, and many times when they're in port, they are getting that wine from those regions, so it's absolutely spectacular, and then enjoying that cognac or, you know, that uh, specialty vodka and tonic, you know, after, after dinner, just not having to worry about having to sign anything with their card or pay that bill at the end of the cruise. You know, it's just um, very relaxing, uh, which is how it's meant to be. Um, you know, in-suite mini bar replenished daily. I always like to stop here because, you know, um, it's incredible what they do on board. They really pay attention. If your clients like a specific sparkling water or if uh, they want a specific soda that's in their suite um, every single day, you know, or a beer, letting us know that in advance so we can prepare their suite accordingly. I tell you what, um, I've been on a few cruises myself where I've had companions that would prefer a specific kind of beer or a specific kind of soda that we might not normally have. We put a note in and I tell you, it's interesting because it follows me everywhere I go. I was on the Splendor for the inaugural uh, four night um, before we, unfortunately we had to shut everything down and those those sodas were in my fridge because my name was uh, was attached to that of my comrade who wanted that Mountain Dew. We don't normally have Mountain Dew on board, and there was Mountain Dew in my in my fridge. It's amazing, absolutely incredible the detail uh, that they have on board. But all of this, all of the minor things that add up as well, the prepaid gratuities, the specialty restaurants, transfers, Wi-Fi, and the newest addition to the list is the free valet laundry service. And an interesting um, piece of information is we do have the launderettes open if they want to enjoy that, doing that on themselves, but why not do the free valet laundry service? It's an actual uh, huge treat. I've had the pleasure of having that service on one of my Mediterranean cruises a few years back. Um, but how are we getting back? How is it going? Um, our Sail Safe Health and Safety Program, I wanted to touch base on that. I know many of you have questions um, on how that's going, and it's going absolutely incredible. So this uh, young man, Dr. Scott Gottlieb, has uh, been with us since the beginning of, of this entire thing. He is a former commissioner of the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, and he, with his uh, Sail Safe Global Health and Wellness Council have been coming together with the CDC and our organization to ensure that we are implementing all of uh, the procedures that we need to on board the ships to keep the staff and the guests safe. 
um, and it's constantly changing and it's constantly evolving with everything from each port of call uh, to pre-cruise uh, rules and regulations, you know, starting with 100% vaccination combined with a robust preventative protocol um, and just the testing, the embarking, all of the rules are being followed. And um, we've had the uh, shipwide cleaning and disinfections, the medical grade air filtration systems, the dedicated public health officer on board with the enhanced uh, medical teams as well. Everything is working according to plan. You know, we are um, doing the contact tracing and we have those isolation and quarantine accommodations on board. Um, we have reduced our capacity on board so that we have those uh, lower suites available if that were to happen, if there was ever a positive case on board. Um, we have the contingency plans in place and we have debarkation scenarios ready. Um, so we are we take care of those guests and ensure that the rest of the guests are, are healthy and stay healthy as well. Um, and we establish those relationships with the onshore medical institutions as well. So I believe, you know, there was a, a note that came out from Kelly Craighead, the president of CO of CLIA. Um, and even, you know, with the announcement of the extension of the conditional sale order, um, you know, even she said, you know, the CLIA ocean going cruise line members are sailing today with one of the highest level COVID-19 mitigation of any industry. You know, we are working together so closely to ensure that everyone's safety is number one priority. So this is the industry definitely that is taking all the precautions because we have to and because we want to and we need to. Um, one enhancement that we're doing on our end is uh, it's a new dedicated area of our website that provides health and safety requirements by voyage for your clients. 30 days prior to sailing, you could actually go on that website today and see the sailings that are within that 30 day period. And you can click on each one and port by port, it will let you know if you have to carry your vaccination card with you, if you're able to go out on your own, or if you need to stay on, on the tours with us. It will tell you the paperwork you need to fill out before you get somewhere and what the rules and regulations are to get off the ship and back home. It's absolutely incredible. It's such a great idea. I'm so glad that they're able to do that. So feel free to take a look at that site if you wish. Otherwise, if you have clients that are going to be going, we'll, we will be sending you notifications on that 30 days prior and then a few weeks prior as well to, to keep everyone in the know. And what's great is it's in real time. So, you know, if things change, that website's going to change as well. So it's just a great tool and it really just enables us to get back to the locations where we've always been able to sail. And, you know, every day, you know, there's a new place that's opening up a little bit further. So really excited to get back out there and exploring the world. Um, so let's talk a little bit about return to sailing and how it's going so far. And like I said before, um, it's going fabulous. So right now we have two ships in the water. Uh, the Splendor was the first uh, to grace the water in London in September, and then just recently the Explore in Italy um, just a few weeks ago. Up next, we have the Mariner in Miami in December, the Navigator in Miami in January, and the Voyager will be the final ship in the water in February in Barcelona. So um, all great news. Everything is, is turning out to be fabulous. I just got out of a meeting where... Um, we were just hearing about the Explorer and how the guests are feeling on board and just everybody is just super impressed. The staff is amazing, just super happy to be back at work and helping with all sorts of things. And the food is, could not be better. And everybody is just all smiles and ready to get, get back to it. So if that doesn't make you feel better, then I don't know what will, because that was really exciting to hear just about an hour ago. Um, so we'll continue, you know, we'll continue with this and we're also going to continue with our sustainability because not only do we need to have the staff and the guests healthy, but we also need to keep the earth healthy. So we continue to work with our sisters, with Oceana and NCL on our strategy to keep the earth healthy, combat that climate change, protect our oceans, empowering our teams internal and on board. Um, and strengthening our communities. So feel free to take a look online. We have lots of information on all the different uh, strategies and programs that we have in place to reduce our env environmental impact 
um, continue to sail safely, empowering our people within our organization, um, and so on. So it's just, it's fabulous. It's a great family to work for, and I'm proud to be here. And talking a little bit more on the locations and the destinations that we go to and immersing ourselves, I want to just, you know, as far as your clients and what they're excited to, to do, one of those pillars being immersive exploration. You know, not only do we have those included tours, but we have tours that really immerse even further for longer periods of time with smaller groups of people called uh, Regent Choice Excursions. And they are for a slight additional cost, but very discounted. So if there's something specific that they're really looking forward to, we can look at those as well. But we have tours that you hang out with the locals. We have gourmet explore tours that partner so well with the two ships that have the Culinary Arts Kitchen on board. We have the wellness tours, pre and post land programs, um, import overnights. And you know, I don't think I've been on a cruise yet that doesn't, that we didn't visit a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So just a lot of history um, and a lot of, you know, just immersing yourselves in that destination. So with that, I wanted to go into who is our guest? And a lot of people ask us that. And I always, you know, I, I'm always a little hesitant to give, you know, the pure demographics because really it's about their passions. You know, you kind of know where they like to go. You know what they're already booking. So that kind of gives you an idea of what they're willing to go to um, to have a great vacation. But it's more about, you know, their passion. So, yes, in the middle there is our quote unquote demographics. Uh, but I really always tell people to focus on that other column, the regent guest and, and their passions for learning about different cultures and enjoying activities like muse going to museums and wine tastings and just really appreciating the fine finer things in life. Um, those are like the types of areas that you really want to hear about. You know, just get to know your clients a little bit more um, and ask them those questions. Um, you know, if they are wanting to learn more about culture and wine tasting, we have spotlight voyages now that are just home, like really focused on specific areas, you know, and, and they have onboard activities um, like cooking demonstrations and panel discussions and wine tastings on board that really focus on these specific areas. And then on top of that, they do shoreside activities um, like pre post cruise land programs. Um, and like hosted shore excursions by the people that are on board hosting these particular uh, voyages. And it's some of them are for an additional cost on that side, but you know, your clients, if that's what they're really passionate about, they're more than welcome to hone in on those. And just a couple of examples here is a spotlight on with Harlan Estate um, in May on the Seven Seas Mariner, where you get to hang out with the family of the Harlan Estate and you know, do the wine tasting and learn a little about the history of the vineyard. Another one is a spotlight on um, ancestry. Um, in Dublin on the Voyager in July next year, where you get to learn a little about DNA, connecting people, and genealogy. I mean, how fa fabulous, you know, just to learn a little bit more on that. Um, you know, and then every single launch that we have um, we want to go somewhere different. We want to highlight different things for clients because we, you know, our past guests, you know, keep coming back and back. And we need to come up with new places for them to go. And then also uh, grand voyages, you know, not the same long voyages that they've always go gone on, but that's typically what they really gravitate towards. What's a really fun itinerary? So we're always coming up with new items on that front as well. But I did want to highlight our overnights because overnights, I feel like people don't get a, a, a huge amount of time, you know, in, in a port of call on a regular itinerary uh, where it's just, you know, bing, bang, boom. And with these overnights, they really get to immerse themselves. They can get off the ship and, and maybe have dinner in the city and walk around at night and hang out with the locals and you know, the last ship that I was on for vacation was on the Voyager a few years back, and it was Athens to Rome, and we overnighted in Istanbul, and it was absolutely fabulous. We got off, we found a restaurant that we researched, we went and ate this amazing food, you know, we had those delicacies afterwards, and we just walked around and hung out with the locals. It was absolutely fabulous, and it, you don't have to rush to get back to the ship, so we have so many different kinds of overnights that, you know, your clients can can participate in. And what's really exciting is next year we are celebrating 30 
years. So it's really nice, especially for our past guests to really kind of look back and see, you know, from the very beginning, you know, how this cruise line began and, and how each ship has its own story and its own year as it, as it came in into region and how we came together with Oceana and then we came together with Norwegian and, and how Explorer came on in 2016 and we hadn't had a new ship in 13 years and how exciting that was. Um, and then bringing the Splendor on and then this year announcing um, announcing our newest ship, the Seven Seas Grandeur to bring it home with the, with the six sh ships of the most elegant fleet in the world. So here they are, um, all mid-size, gorgeous, gorgeous ships. I've been on every single one. Um, but yes, the Seven Seas Grandeur is going to uh, come in with our third Explorer class ship and absolutely stunning. So I can't wait to show you a few of these uh, pictures, these renderings from how it's really going to look on the inside. So this is Compass Rose. I mean, how gorgeous is that? That's going to be the flagship re restaurant on Seven Seas Grandeur, a heritage of perfection she will be. Um, so she's really going to match the uh, Seven Seas Explore and the Seven Seas Splendor, if you're familiar with those, um, as far as the deck plan. But the, but the colors are going to look completely different. So again, no more than 750 guests on any of our ships. And our crew to guest ratio is going to be one to 1.38. But I want you to take a look at the at the at the colors. I mean, it's absolutely stunning. This right here is going to be the Regent Suite. And if you aren't familiar with the Regent Suite, we only have one on the Explorer class ships. And um, so that's the Explorer, the Splendor, and now the Grandeur. And it's just under 4,500 square feet yes that's right i said 100 um it's a, a two bedroom um three walk-in closet and it ha has its own in-suite spa with daily spa treatments and you can do private uh private car and driver in every single port of call it has a wraparound balcony around the top around the whole front of the ship it, it sits on top. It's on the very top deck and it sits on top of the bridge. So you're basically your own master there. So it's absolutely stunning. So this is what it's going to look like. It's, it's definitely, it's just shows elegance and comfort. Um, it's very unique. Um, it, it really kind of hones in on the art pieces um, for, for how this uh, Regent Suite looks here on the grandeur. Very discerning. Um, you can just show, like right here, the grand suite, the the calming and warm tones. It just really implores comfort. You can just, you feel like you could just fall asleep right there. A lot of modern design though, um, and it just really exudes class. So here's the Seven Seas suite, um, the penthouse suite with the partition wall there with the TV on both sides, just very light and sleek. Uh, warm and lush finishes. Here's the concierge suite. So this is one of our entry level suites. I mean, I could pretty much live there myself. Um, but I wanted to show you also some of the restaurants in the public areas. Um, they really designed each restaurant in each public area in a specific way. So this is Prime 7 and they're kind of giving it an early industrial New York style. You know, the romance of the railway travel is what they were kind of going for here. And here on the observation lounge, take a look of, at that ceiling right there. That is overlapping petals with thousands of individual crystals stitched into waves. I mean, absolutely stunning. I cannot wait to meet her. And um, But I also want to show you a few, in case you're unfamiliar with the rest of our fleet, just a few of the other pictures to showcase that all of our all of our all of our ships are absolutely stunning in their own way. They all have a different, unique look and feel to them. The Seven Seas Splendor is a little bit on the more feminine side, while the Seven Seas Explorer has more of a masculine, um, gorgeous, in-your-face, beautiful, masterful look. Um, and then the rest of our fleet is absolutely stunning as well. And look, the space continues. I mean, they have their own look. They're very sleek, um, and the the suites are just as spacious. Um, so Seven Seas Navigator, Grand Suite, Compass Rose, absolutely stunning on all six ships. And of course the library. Um, so I wanted to showcase a little bit of pricing for you and you might have already been familiar with this. This is the comparison uh, between us and maybe a, a luxury competitor as well as a premium. 
Um, and that first black line at the top is what's going, you know, immediately what your clients are going to see. And I really want you to, you know, hone in and all of the additional extras that they will be purchasing on their on their while they're on vacation and how you know incredibly not vacation-esque is that you know um just knowing that you paid for it all up front and you won't have to worry about a thing especially now when they haven't had a couple of years of vacationing you know they might be ready to make that upgrade so make sure and point that out because at the end of the day that gold line at the bottom is really going to show them that you know it's not all that different and they might even be paying less. So take a look at that. We have uh, flyers on our website. They've just been updated, so feel free to take a look at those. Um, so I did want to talk a little bit about our special offers that are going on right now, but because this webinar is recorded and it's going to be on the Clio website, I do want to highlight the current web the current offer, which is $500 shipboard credit for your clients and $200 gift card for you. For, for select Caribbean and Mediterranean voyages, which are listed on our website, if you book before November 12th. But if you are watching this after, we have offers going on all the time. So please make sure, if you don't already have a relationship with, re, with your regent representative, please reach out. We'll get you in touch with that person because we always have something going on. Um, and, you know, a lot of our offers, you know, it might be an upgrade offer. It might be first class air versus, you know, economy on domestic areas. So whatever the case is, we will let you know what that offer is. But right now, this is what it currently is. But some ongoing offers that we have, if you have clients that, that, constantly travel together or want to get a group together whether it be friends or family for groups of 10 or more we're offering you know um, to do private a private shore a private shore excursion just for them so they don't you know because it's reconnecting we have been you know um, you know sitting at home and not being able to connect with our family or friends for a very long time and here's a great place and a great time to do that so we're offering experiences for these specific groups doing these private tours for them so feel free to reach out to your region representative to get more details on that um, and that's just across the board if you also have any solo uh, travelers you know that are interested in traveling we have a great solo program and a lot of dates you know a lot of dates have um, as low as 25% single supplements. So that list is online as well. So feel free to take a look at those if you have any of those single travelers. Once your clients are on board, please try and push them to, you know, if they are ready to make a decision to book, if they book on board, it automatically gets put on your name. Um, you know, so think of our onboard consultants as your team members because they are there to help you. So let them sell whatever destination or cruise that they're looking for while on board and they can get the discount of, uh, you know, up to $4,000 off for their suite. And then that gets automatically sent to you. The invoice gets sent to you. So it's a great way for um, us to work together to, to get your clients onto their next cruise. And then once they're back off of their cruise and, or if your clients have already sailed with Regent, make sure that they're reaching out to their, friends and family to get an extra $250 off of their next cruise and then their friends or family member gets it off of their suite as well. So it's a great way to, you know, spread the word, if you will, especially if they had a fabulous time and especially when they just get off the ship because they're just buzzing with excitement and they can't wait to get back on. Um, and I did want to show you some free marketing um, areas that you can use on our website. Um, and you just basically hop on, you go to rssc.com, scroll to the bottom, go into the Travel Partner Center, get yourself a login real quick, and you have tons of um, places that you can go on policies, training, um, marketing, we have toolkits and assets of videos and photos for you. And something that's really brand, brand new that you might not know about if you're really familiar with the site is we just put together a nurturing email program just for you, for clients that haven't sailed with Regent yet. So if you if you have a few people in mind or a group of people that you think, oh, they might actually you know move up, they might increase and go to something else, there is uh, three emails that you can kind of design yourself and you can time it and send them out at specific times to try and maybe um, have them start thinking about uh, 
upgrading to Region 7 Seas Cruises. So take a look at that Marketing Central through our Travel Partner Center. And the next thing that I definitely want you to do, if you haven't done so already, is take a look at our Regent University. We have four courses on there that we've just updated as of the beginning of this year. So if you've already taken it, feel free, and you haven't taken the new courses yet that were just redone in January this year, go ahead and redo it because it gives you the opportunity to get that extra bonus commission. So there are four uh, new courses that are really cool. They have more images, videos, virtual tours. It's really kind of fun to go through there. And based off of what I've already told you, you could probably just go through right now and graduate all four. Um, so you can go on there through the Travel Partner Center. Um, you can type in any of these sites as well, but the Travel Partner Center is probably the easiest way to get there. Um, but again, you get a hundred dollars bonus commission for every single course that you complete. So that's four courses. So that's four hundred dollars. Now it has to be a new booking for each one, and it has to be made after you graduate, and it has to be made within 20, 120 days. So feel free to take that and and use it to your advantage to get that bonus commission on top of getting CLIA elective credits and CEUs from the Travel Institute. Um, it's really a great um, a great access point for you. Um, and then some selling tips. I just wanted to um, kind of end the uh, the PowerPoint with a few selling tips on how to, once you find those clients that you think might be great, um, you know, here, you know, utilize your social connections, you know, whether it's a book club or an online community, you know, fish where the fish are, you know, I'm sure you already have some ideas of charities or social clubs or businesses that cater to those clients. Um, hold an event, whether it's virtual or in person. I know we're kind of getting out there a little bit more, but we are very, very uh, keen on the virtual events as well. We can definitely help you in that in that area. Do a bucket list challenge. Super fun. Gets, you know, gets the blood flowing there. Social media. We have tons of social media posts within Marketing Central that you can use. Um, identify potential clients within your own database and use that email nurturing program that I told you about with, with our Marketing Central. Um, upsell, you know, I'm sure you have tons of clients that are that are already going on cruise lines or specific tours or, or scenic vacations that are spending a good amount of money and if they were to know that they could do it all up front, it might be a really good option for them. Know the product and take that travel agent university hone in on the added value of those value comparison, knowing every single step of the way of what they might be incurring for costs. Build a plan with as far as marketing and training with us, you know, let us know. And we, you know, if you're, um, if you're unfamiliar who your person is, let us know and we will find that person for you. And then stay in contact, stay in contact with your clients, but also with us. Let us know what we can do and we are here for you. You know, we are ready to be back. You know, our sales and reservations teams are standing by to help you in your journey. And our onboard team is ready to make your clients' dreams come true. So if you have any questions, again, with who your person is, feel free to email this email address, rssc.salesassos at rssc.com. And that's my personal team. And I will we will make sure that you are connected with that person. But I, in closing, I really hope that you see the opportunity and the growth. We obviously cannot do it without you. We count on you. We thank you for your continued support. And again, we value our relationship and are excited to see what the future brings. Um, so with that, I'll hand it back over to Anna. Any questions on your side? Thank you so much, Brenna. We do have a couple questions coming in and I invite everybody to keep them coming. Our first one is from Edward, who noticed um, that on one of your very first slides, there was an asterisk beside transfers. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if you could go back to that slide um, sure. and just wondering why there was an asterisk. Yes. So transfers are included as long as you're taking our AIR program and also uh, you haven't deviated away from the date that you would normally fly in with our AIR program. So it, basically what that means is if you are doing the AIR on your own, see that's a, I'm glad you brought that point up, you can get an AIR credit um, off of the cruise fare if you, if you want to, if you're using points. But at that point in time, the transfers are taken away as well. So it's kind of part of the AIR program. But um, also if you deviate away, so if you come in like a week in advance um, and you're still using our AIR, so then the, the transfer would be on your own as well so I hope that answers that question yes got it thank you so much 
Our next question is from Leah, who is wondering what the dress code on board is. Great question, Leah. It's very actually, I'm just going to go back to the end. Um, it's actually country club casual. So we're very casual on board and it's really up to you on how you'd like to dress. We used to do a few formal nights, but we've kind of cut those out. So it's country club casual, just no denim or uh, flip flops or shorts, but everything else is kind of open. So slacks, um, you know, sundresses, that's totally fine. Collared shirts for men, you don't have to wear a jacket, but you can dress up if you'd like. So it's total. I've seen it, you know, everybody's kind of a, kind of half and half on board. So it's, it's very casual. Okay, got it. And our next question is from Sheila, who is wondering if you can repeat your website information again. The website, oh, absolutely. So on the website, it's gonna be um, www.rssc dot com and that's our website so and then you just scroll to the very very bottom and you'll right there you'll find in the cut it's kind of in the smaller um, smaller text that you'll find in the middle the travel uh, partner center and that'll be for you so then you can click on there and it's really easy to log in and get yourself a password and then you've got lots of tools and you can even make reservations or look up your current reservations within that tool as well Okay, got it, thank you. And it looks like this will be our last question from Michelle, who is wondering if there is a minimum age for children and if there's children activities on board. Of course, that's always a good question too, and it's an interesting time for that. So pre-COVID, yes, and once we have the vaccinations and everything figured out for the kiddos, uh, it will come back as well, but I know it's kind of um, a little early on the vaccination for, for children right now, but pre-COVID, yes, and eventually we'll get there again. We do have children's activities on board. Knowing that we don't have slides or rock climbing walls on board, we do still have activities for them to do. And um, specifically, we had them on like Alaska and Mediterranean during the summer months, and we had them by age category. So it'd be anywhere from, you know, um, from like five to, eight and so on and so on. So we have like four or five different groups of ages and we have activities for those age groups. So absolutely we did have that. Um, the minimum age that we had at that point in time was at least one years of age only simply because we did not have um, any type of medical facilities on board for, for the little, little babies. Um, so, but as of right now, it's based on a hundred percent vaccination. So up and, you know, so basically right now it's, you know, there's not going to be any children until that opens up obviously, but yes, once we do, that'll be back, back in play. Okay. Got it. Thank you so much. And it looks like those are all of our questions. So thank you so much, Brenna, for all of that wonderful information and thank you everybody for joining us. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. Have a great rest of your week, everyone.